Hey everybody, how's it going? This is That Home Theater Dude, and I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new home theater system. Um, right now I have the Klipsch reference um, 26s. I have those plus the R15s, and then I have just some just generic speakers to fill out the rest of the, the receiver that I have. I have a 7.1, actually it's a 7.2 um, receiver. And what I was going to do is I just bought a brand new set of speakers and now I want to move everything that I already had in the room, take them out, and then I was going to put my brand new speakers back in. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure that everything was centered in the room and that's why I have the tape measure right here. So basically what you do, what you want to do is measure the entire room and then typically what you're going to have is you're going to have like a logo on your equipment, so say like your TV and uh, maybe like your, your, your center speaker. So get those aligned on the TV stand first. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna try to measure everything out, make sure everything is nice and centered. So I, th I think what I did is I had everything pretty much centered in the first place. So I uh, just wanted to double check to, before I went further with, it, with anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead and run this video and then I'll show you my setup in a second. All right, how's it going? Now, I'm gonna show you my new setup. This is my old setup. I was just trying to get everything in the middle of the room. Um, TV looks like it's pretty much already centered, but um, I just wanted to make sure that it was perfect before I started putting all this stuff together. So here's the new setup. This is the reference premieres. This is the reference premieres. So we have the 450. We have the RP280s. I got four of the RP-160s and then four of the Atmos modules. My, uh, my amp isn't capable of running all of these at the same time, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell two of the modules. Yeah, this, uh, this one's your setup. So all this is gonna go over here, obviously. So we're just trying to measure everything and figure it out how to put it in there properly. So now this is going to be the rest of the setup for the uh, the speakers. All right, so it comes to that point in the video where I would recommend when you're carrying these big heavy speakers, it's really good to have someone to help you out. Um, not only to go ahead and help them carry things, help them put them in position, but also to help you connect them and things like that. Uh, they're pretty heavy and you might lose your balance like I just did. So, you know, watch out. Uh, besides that, uh, with the center speakers, if you're gonna have them placed, like I did, right below your TV like that, um, you're gonna wanna prop them up somehow to angle the speakers so that they're not really firing at your knees. Because um, when, you're, when you're in your listening position, the same level of that is gonna be lower than your ears. So what you're gonna wanna do is maybe grab some rubber door stops, put them under those uh, center channels like that, or if you can, uh, put them right under your TV. Uh, this one isn't an option because it's very tall, and I tried it before, and my TV was was way too, uh, way too high up on the ceiling. It just didn't really seem natural from the listening position that we had, or actually the viewing position. So yeah, besides that, go ahead and clean up your area because it's a good time to do it. Uh, whenever you get these big heavy speakers in the way, you're not gonna wanna do it again. So I didn't finish showing you the old setup. So what I have over here is I have a R15. I have that sitting on my Amazon Prime box because I ran out of stands. So I just left it here for the meantime. And that's where the R26 used to be. There's another R26. Then we have the uh, PB12 SBS. This thing's huge. And then we have another one of the R12s on top of the 
just my DVD stand, I guess. Um, these these next ones aren't. I don't have to worry about it because they already come with the stands. So it should be a better set than this. These are actually going up for sale. All the rest of the, the original stuff I had. So we're gonna go ahead and measure the floor mats because right now we're trying to figure we're trying to get the flooring done. So I don't wanna step up to the bottom of these units. We're gonna be using a little bit of a kind of put this in your your kitchen, like kind of like next to your I guess under your forks and spoons. It's like non-slip. It uh, just gives a little insulation to the, for the protection for the bottom of the speakers. So the way these clips are set up is that they already come uh, connected themselves. So they have these gold little plates. So instead of connecting, you can actually take these plates off. If you wanted to dual drive this, you can have a single channel coming here, another single channel coming here, and then it'll the internal um, the internal crossovers go ahead and do all that for you. So this way it doesn't matter how you set them up. I see a lot of people doing them like this. It really just doesn't matter. Uh, I guess since my wire isn't all that separated, I'll just connect them down here. So the gold jumps them from the bottom to the top. So ideally what you want is whenever you have these placed, you want to have, you want to measure your center your listening position and then you want to have this kind of a camber or kind of caster towards you or angle towards you at the same distance that this is going to be from your listening position. <laughs> So like you did before, just do the same thing. Red to red, black to black. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Also, if you don't have banana plugs, you can just unscrew these. You can just stick your wire directly in there and screw it back down. You can do that method, or banana plugs, whichever way you'd like. Alright, so now here's the part of the video where we're going to go ahead and make sure that our speakers are all the same distance from your listening position. So what you're going to do is first you're going to mount up or measure up the center speaker and then what you're going to want to do is immediately measure the left and right speakers. You're going to want, to want all three of those to be the same number. Um, it works really well uh, for calibration if you go ahead and take the time measuring out exactly the way you're going to set it up now um, rather than having to keep fiddling with it um, after you do your calibration because after your calibration it's going to tell you exactly what your measurements are.
All right, so that was pretty easy. So now all you gotta do is you gotta put, uh, these come with Atmos modules. So you can either stick these on the ceiling, have them firing down at you, or you can put them on top of uh, any of the reference premieres. They usually fit the same size as the base of this one. They also have a different version, which is the R14, which is completely different. Well, I'm not gonna say completely different. Basically the same design as this one. This one's a little more finished. Uh, it's not the true reference line. It's actually the reference premiere, so you get a better finish with it. You get the 9090 uh, Tractrix uh, horn right here. And then we have about the same size, the four inch drivers right here. About the same mounting as the back. And then you just stick it on top. These are all magnetic. I have little magnets here. It just falls right into place. So if you get it even more near it, it'll just snap right in. It's really cool. It has this little Dolby Atmos um, decal right here. Now you have to, this, this is kind of like um, proprietary equipment. If you have the Atmos name on there, then that means that you actually had to get a patent. Um, of patent rights from Dolby itself, so it's kind of cool if you put those on there. So now what you want to do is you want to have your pouch directly in front of, uh, directly in front of your, directly in the middle of your ring. So your listening area is going to be uh, the same on each side of both these speakers. So now I'm going to keep these on. You're done with that just clean up a little of the uh the dust that you already had behind there and then these stands they're um they're really good stands but i actually have these that i can bolt to them so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick i'll probably stop this video and then uh, just edit everything but these are going to be connected to it 100 percent these are about 50 pounds each too so i have dogs so hopefully they don't knock these over so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video and then we'll uh, pick up from here 